Hey guys! In an effort to help out some of y'all poker players like myself in this coronavirus time, episode, chapter, Chabalier, I've taken it upon myself to put a list of poker movies and other movies you may enjoy related to gambling and poker. And that is the purpose of this video. Now, some of these movies I'm not even going to look at. Example, Maverick. Mel Gibson trying to be funny. Thumbs down. Never seen it, never will. Don't like that other guy. You'll see the picture of the movie. <sighs> Why do I sound all <laughs> thumbs down, whatever, when I'm normally so happy and making better videos than this? Because the Rona's got me down. Stress level, sugar up, the whole freaking thing. So in my search for not being able to feed my poker love because I happen to live in the state of Florida where they don't allow me to do some gambling online I don't know why that let me just chill I may have to move to Vegas or Canada or something to be able to do that so you guys in the government want my tax money for my house and everything else think about that Anyway, so I've been out there searching for some poker movies. I've seen some that are awesome. Some of these, they call them poker movies, but they're not really poker, they're gambling movies. But some of them are awesome anyway. So I'm putting a whole freaking list for you to see on this video of all the little movie posters. I can't go in there and talk about all of them. It'll take me forever and you'll be bored AF. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put the pictures out there. And then for you guys to go search them, read about it, and then find them. Some of these, you may have to go on your on-demand cable and say the name of the movie. And some of them will pop up. Some of them won't pop up. So then you have to do the same on Netflix. Then you have to do the same on... Uh, the Amazon, then you have to do the same on HBO, then you have to do the same on Cinemax, then you have to do uh, Showtime, then you have to uh, Stars, then you have to Disney, the, you know what I'm saying, right? And you can take the subtitles or the titles from what I put on the pictures here and then do a search online and, and see where you can find it. Tubby, T-U-B-I, has some poker uh, movies, uh, just whatever. Anyway, so it took me a lot of time to be able to crop this freaking movies, pictures, so that you guys can have it out there, but it'll be worth it. I know you're going to ask me, hey, which ones are your favorites so far? Number uni. I believe that's uh, German or Russian. That means number one. Rounders, of course. I watch it a couple times a week, but especially the parts at the end. You know? You know who I'm talking about? Teddy KGB on the last event of the movie. Talking about Teddy Agriesive and all that stuff. Oh. Can't stop watching it. I even bought a, a shirt that says Very Agriesive. What do you think of that? Anyway, I happened to come across one called Deal, D-E-A-L, with one of my favorite 70s and 80s actors called... Gosh, the Smokey and the Bandit guy. Burt Reynolds. I have never seen that movie before. I don't know where that came from, but I found it. So you got to look at it. As soon as I finish this video, I'm going out to search for Deal, D-E-A-L. 
Some of these movies have a lot of poker, and then they end up uh, being a gambling movie, like I said, and they're good. Some of these older ones, I refuse to even look at. <sighs> but I'm putting it out there anyway, because a lot of people gave it a thumbs up. Now, I just recently saw Mark Wahlberg's The Gambler, and that's not poker per se, but in this time and F, an event in this history of the world with this coronavirus, when you're sitting at home wondering what other millionth movie can I watch, you got to watch The Gambler by Mike Wahlberg, the burger guy. But you know what's even better? The original Gambler. I forgot the guy's name, but you got to look it up. The original Gambler. It is freaking amazing. Anyway. Uh, it's from the 60s. I like that one a whole lot better. What else did I like? Let's see. The Cincinnati Kid from the 1960s. I saw it. I thought it was awesome. I didn't like the ending. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But the big showdown between the Cincinnati Kid and the old timer. And guess who freaking wins. Anyway, what else? There's one called, a weird one, called In It To Win It or In To Win or All To Win or something. That is a beautiful love story about this guy that meets this girl and he cannot stop gambling. And at the end, he, he, he goes for the long shot and he wins on a poker match. A cash game in the hood somewhere. That one is a beautiful movie. Any girl and guy need to watch this one. That's a good one. And I found that on On Demand when you do a search for it. You'll see it here. This picture is uh, orange with a guy's face. Picture sucks, but the movie is awesome. You got to watch that one. Anyway, what else? Ah, I'm tired of talking. Anyway, here it is. I'm going to let them roll. You watch them. I know you're going to find five or six of these that you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know this movie existed and it was awesome. Pass it out to your friends. They're all bored as you know what, as we're all sitting locked in the house, doing nothing but watching TV, and we can't play poker. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. More poker stuff coming. By the way, while you're bored, go find yourself little items like this on eBay. Look what I got me, some poker coasters. They have the antique look. I almost didn't buy it because I thought, man, they look all worn out like somebody's been putting a thousand beers and on top of it, but it's actually not. They all came out perfect and it was $10 on eBay, including freaking shipping. And it's tile and it's heavy and it's got cork, the whole thing. So go out there and see what little treasures you can find poker related. Aside from that, dude, I don't know how much longer I can take this life without poker. My poker meets, my poker guys, my poker gals, my poker food at the restaurants. I don't know what else to say. Uber took a backseat to poker. What do you think of that? I'm heading for the big time. I'm going to be hitting the casinos. I'm going to be hitting the uh, trying to win bracelets and fancy watches and the whole thing. Y'all, keep, keep this face in mind. <laughs> I'm going to be posting some of these trophies. And I don't care about the money. I need the freaking trophies. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. If they pay me 500 grand or a million to win a trophy, fine. I'll take it. I'll eat out with you guys too. But I'm going for the trophies and the bracelets, but primarily the trophies. All right, guys, take care. I'm not even going to talk about anything regarding the Rona. Could care less. Just watch some of these movies and you're going to thank me. And by the way, if you like some of these movies, sorry, but I'm shutting the comments still off. Why? Because some of you guys are raw AF. And I don't need your freaking sarcasm. I have a very thin skin, as you all know. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to get to like 10 million subscribers. So just help me out. 
Okay, here we go. I'm going to help you out to have a good night watching poker movies. Take care, and I'm out. Freaking thumbs up to myself for all the time that I've wasted putting these movies together for you. Enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.